Okay, it's Sudoku time, or in this case, Sun Doku. I'm in the middle of doing a <coughs> Sudoku from the Sun newspaper. And as you can see, roughly halfway through it, I filled quite a few squares in. Um, but you can come in certain Sudokus, just depends on, on how hard they are. Um, you can come to a bit of a stalemate where you can be, well, cross hatching and using various techniques, and you just cannot find or it's very difficult to find um, which square the next number goes into. And I've just come to that stage now, and what I would thought I would show you is just a technique of finding which square the next number goes into. So if you look at this block of nine squares here, as you can see some I filled in, but these two are empty. As you can see, we've got the one, three, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's a two and a four. So a two either goes in that square or that square, or a four goes in that square or that square. So working off that, if you look up to this line of squares, you can see that there's no four. So a four needs to go either there, there, or there. So working off this block of nine squares, we know, or I know, that there's a four either goes there or there. So working off that, I know that no four goes in that square because of there's a four either there or there. So that rules that square out for putting a four. If I move across, I know a four does not go in that square because there's a four in this block of nine squares. So there's no four there, no four there, and there's only one blank square left. So I know for a fact that the 4 goes in that square. And that's a technique of finding out which square the next number goes into.